to get into this video. We're gonna be watching da -da -da, the first descendant. Um, they dropped a trailer for it originally like a couple days ago, but I guess nine days ago. I don't know how the fuck I missed this, but they dropped a gameplay demo. 4K, 60 FPS. Most likely somebody got to play early, and we're about to watch this shit. Then they found hope. Ancestor's power. Finally, they could fight with newfound strength. I'll see this burrito. It's a little too fire. But another threat to demand. Corral, I mean, the, the new the leader of the Vulcus. Potatoes and ground beef. His dark salsa. ambitions are driving both worlds to the brink of collapse. Chase. We must fight back. It's supposed to have more control. Ancestors power this is very nice. Um, she got extra. I would think they jumped on it. She dropped it. Looks like a light bulb. Descendant, can you hear me? I've been waiting for you. Void corrosion has encroached upon thy leech. That is because of an unknown error. It will be fixed momentarily. will be reborn through the Iron Heart. Rise, my warriors. Give your lives for the somebody so hyped to be assimilated. Like, look at the hype right here, bro. Get your lives to it, bro. Like, all this hype for what, bro? You about to die. They're using your energy to power up whatever the fuck this other shit is. But it ain't me, so go ahead. Okay, so they didn't die. These motherfuckers morphed. Stand at the Vanguard for me. I'll... I will stand at the Vanguard of the Legion. Mm -hmm. Yo. Uh, excuse me. He's like, my lord, wait. Alright, go ahead, go for it. 
I thought this man right here was a boss, but I guess not. He's like a servant or whatever. I think he's like the mastermind that just knows the power. And the other guy's like the actual strength. And this is us. And we jump into the beginning gameplay. Oh, this is on PC. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's see. And multiplayer? Nice. Okay, this shit does kind of look like Anthem. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna fucking lie. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. Okay. Looks solid. Looks solid. Grapple. Let's see what these powers is about. Double jump. Nice. Double jump with the grapple. And the grapple comes back pretty quick. I think you get two of them. Oh, you do. Yo. Okay. Gravitational pull grenade. Nice. Yeah, you get two. Two grapples. Yeah. Just so it's a bit easier to convert, you know. Hey, if y'all do another um early beta test, shit, let me play this shit. I ain't got no PC, but once I hit PlayStation, let me let me play this for real. On the remote too. You know what the voice line sounds like though for the enemies dying? It sounds like Warframe. Like with the um corpus. Exactly what it sounds like. Oh, I should just listen to it. Ice abilities. Okay, okay. What's that thing over there in the middle though? Oh, and you get to pick up what they got weapon drops on the floor. Okay. I like it. It's better than going back to the. You'll probably get that and those are the weapons you get. And you probably get like reward mission. I mean, reward weapons for completing areas. But I'm pretty sure most of it's just going to be finding stuff on the map. Like, if it's, it's, as if it's Warframe. Nice, nice. I mean, the game doesn't look bad. Actually, it's pretty cool, but it's just, I don't think this would be my genre of game. Because this is one of those games you got to keep going back in and back in to get more loot for. <laughs> but so far, it doesn't look bad. I can see some people playing this, but... I don't think I see, like, a... A lot of longevity into it. Because the trailer... The trailer made it seem like it was a, um... It's going to be a single-player game. And it seemed more like, it seemed more like um, Evil West at first, but I mean, I guess this, this ain't bad. It's not bad, to be honest. I'd play if it's free to play, but I don't think I'd spend like 50, 50 or $60 on this, to be real. If it's like $30, 40 maybe, that's, that's not too bad. 30 $40, not too bad, but this sh shouldn't be like a $70 game for sure. I just I did I don't see nobody spending sixty dollars on this because if let me spend in seventy or sixty because if they do then this will be an anthem flop if I'm being a thousand but maybe if I played it you know it changed my mind but as from what I'm seeing right now this is not a seventy dollar game I'm not saying that they didn't put the time and effort in but if they put this game base at seventy dollars it's for sure gonna flop like anthem I'm not gonna lie to you because a lot of some people are gonna get it and they're like oh they're gonna draw that exact comparison to Anthem and be like, oh no, this ain't it. And then just never really pick it back up. 
But hopefully that's not the case. And I ain't even mad for what they're doing. This is like one of those... I don't even know how to explain this or what genre this is to be 100%. But <laughs> this is really like um Warframe timing right now. But I'm not mad. We do need some more games like that. Cause Warframe, a banger. So this probably could be on could be on par with them. Or could like get get some notice like them in a way. Cause Warframe is actually really fucking fun. But it's like after a while it's like eh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we need some more weapons, so there's a lot of weapons. There's just a lot to do in there. So Warframe's not that bad because they have the trade system and all that and when I'm not doing nothing on Warframe, like a while ago I used to just trade, scam, it was lit. You know, that plat grind was some. So hopefully they have like a trade system in here to where you could like trade weapons or trade um trade material to make weapons. Trade something. At least just have a trade system if it's gonna be like this. Cause this seems like it's gonna be a really in tuned um community game. And I'm not mad about that. I just need we if we play in community, we better be able to trade stuff within the community. That's all I want. And that will bring this game up. I don't think Anthem had that trade option. But so far, so good. I'm going uh, I'm to skip forward a little bit and see what else there is in this game because this is just like a little bit of the, the same stuff just going on. I guess this is a boss fight. Okay, yeah, this is a boss fight. Okay. Or not really a boss fight, but uh, oh, yeah, I guess I was the boss. And how do they pull you out the map? Moving to Albion. Do you just get pulled out automatically? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Watercolors. Okay, that shit actually looks kind of dope. The animation looks dope. And this is a water character. And she got braids, so I'm assuming there is character customization. Mm, I'm not even mad about that. Pretty cool. The character design looks pretty dope, honestly. Charlie kind of thick. They got that stellar blade going on. Okay. But can you? Eh, okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm not mad. I just like the effect that in some games you can aim in with your regular weapons. That's that's a big plus for me. I like how you can go first person to third person with aiming. Everything else don't have to be first person, but with aiming, I like that at least. That's pretty fucking dope. So I'm assuming it's probably not character customization, but you get three base um, characters with set abilities or whatever, something like that. Because that's how it's seeming right now. I really don't know what the fuck water is about to do to him, but I guess it's doing something. This is us inside of the side of one of the areas. I want to see what that second character does. No, that third character. Because right now they got two water characters, and that's like a... Oh, shit. Water skating on them. Nice transversal. I wonder if... Oh, and it lingers. I'm assuming that does damage. It has to. Boom, 3 minutes and 48 seconds. And now we should be on to the second, the third character. I think so. No, it's the other one. Okay, it's, yeah, this is a boss fight. Okay, I'll watch it. Okay, it's not bad, but honestly, you... You're really not getting hit. I don't know if this is like the easy version, the easy mode, or what's going on. But it's really just him, and he's not getting hit like at all. Okay, a little bit of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna need the enemies to be just a little bit smarter. Like I need to be, I need to get overran. Cause this this shit a little too easy right now. The hub. Descendants, the Colossi discerning ingress through an incomprehensible pattern. 
Although the expected time of arrival for the Colossus is unknown, the fact that a stunning beauty is drawn here alarms me. Stunning beauty is a Colossus which is insensitive to energy. Even during the apocalypse, only a few of them are recorded to have appeared in Ingress. But now, suddenly, one is making his way to Ingress. This is not a situation to be taken lightly. Descendant, I'll send you to the Void Convention once you have finished battle preparations. I hope the intercept is successful. All right. that this a new character oh this is a boss okay that's cool so they have like I see this map though oh shit okay up to four players and this is like a, a boss run. Okay, I'm, I, I like this. I like this. Okay, so the other quote unquote bosses I thought they were fighting, those are just mini bosses. Someone has poison effect. So far, I'm seeing poison, ice, and blast damage, and water, and I want to assume electricity, and electricity, and fire. So he is blast and fire. Okay, this isn't bad, but no one's getting hit. Yeah, like the boss. Okay. I hope there's more. Just this. Like, I, I gave my thoughts at the end. this is ozone yep ozone sub to him thank you for dropping this video and i'm glad they let you hit a play test earlier i'll subscribe yep like and subscribe him the game isn't bad it's not a bad game but this is for sure not a 70 dollar game mm, for sure not 70 dollars i want to say my range of between honestly 30 to 50 dollars Pretty solid. 30 to 50 dollar type game right here. But oh shit. But what we do need is I need some more damage on the enemy side. Cause you doing all the damage as a player. Okay, cool. I get it. You know, make character strong. But there's no point in being overpowered if the enemies ain't even attacking back. You know what I mean? Like the enemies attack look crazy. There's no real damage from the enemy. Like, they're all just proccing, getting hella damage in, and they're, they're like straight up shot by the enemy, and 2 HP went down. Meanwhile, they're out here doing thousands of damage. They hit red, crit, orange, crit, probably hitting a couple of reds in there, but no, no damage on the enemy side. So it's just like you're playing a practice mode? Is this easy? Do they have like a... Do they have like a hard mode? Do the enemies get the scale up? Cause these, each character is like level twenty plus. 
So, no, my, okay, this character is level 19, and other characters are, max character is 38. Yeah, 38, so we need some more damage on the enemy side, because, like, bro, they, this is easy. They get the little NPC enemies just walking around, the little minions from the big boss, and, like, look at this. Eat, no damage. How much damage do you take from that? Oh, wow. What was that? Like, 100 damage? That that ain't nothing. That's that's literally nothing. And it comes back quick. It's just shield damage. I want like a good chunk of that bar to be gone off of that hit. Like, where's the the two taps, the one shot attacks? Like, I just need some more scaling for the enemies. That's all. And even when we're doing the regular the regular fights over here, there was like no damage on the enemy side at all while getting overran. There's only two of them. A level, a level 19 and level 22 no damage on the enemy side and these guys are supposed to be they're supposed to be protected well no the, the other the main boss is supposed to be protected by the enemies but they're not even really getting hit and even when they do get hit there's no damage so i just want to say like for the 50th thousand goddamn time please up the damage on the enemies okay one person died but how many how many shots you get hit with okay let's let's see the res and he got it off with ease. Got it off with ease. Nah. Uh-uh. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm not getting this game. I don't know who made this game. But the first trailer seemed like clickbait compared to this. Because the first trailer made it seem like we were going to... Yeah. The... God damn. The first trailer made it seem dope. This shit is... It's backwater. Wait, let me show you the first trailer. This, I'm gonna let this play. This shit. You are pretty high, aren't you? Oh, bro, y'all is not cooking. This is not the same game. This is a clickbait ass trailer with. Uh, nah, yeah, this shit is clickbait. I'm sorry. Who who made this? What's the name of this studio? Next on, next on. Um, yeah, this. I'm I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad because. What the fuck? It, okay, look, give me a, let me get a, let me get a beta test when it hit on PS5, and I'll, I'll play it and let y'all know for real, for real. This is clickbait. This is literally clickbait. And, uh, I'ma need a, uh, shit, man, I'ma need a fucking, I'ma need a beta test on my side on the PS5 so I can let y'all know how this shit really is, like a, a hands-on. And next on slide that beta test because that shit was atrocious that was the most clickbaitish ass game ever i've ever seen in a long time i thought when i seen this trailer the first time i thought it was going to be like um evil west 2.0 i'm like okay single player game you know probably with a little, a little bit of with single player game with multiplayer accessibility but you know single player based but no next on you straight up lied to us this this this, one is tough. this trailer and that gameplay we just seen is not the same at all like uh I, I can't stress that enough if anyone else plays this have fun but you will not see me playing this game i mean you'll probably see me if they drop if they give me a beta on ps5 release i mean an early access on ps5 sure i'll play it just for the hands-on so i can give you guys the real hands-on um reaction but besides that trailer reaction and gameplay reaction it's night and day it's not even the same 
Like, I really thought this was going to be Evil West 2.0 type vibes. This shit is anthem on crutches because you can't even fly. That's probably what I'm about to name this video, Anthem on Crutches, because, like, real, what the fuck? Next on, I, it sounds like I'm shitting on the game, but shit. Y'all did it to yourselves. That That's probably going to be it for this video. <sighs> Let me know your comments in the bottom. Let me know your comments down below. If you liked it, like the video. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and sub. You know, it would be greatly appreciated. And um, I love you all. You know, it's old soul. You know who it is. If you don't want to call me soul, you can just call me Christian. It is what it is. Man, that game was a dumpster fire. Like, come on, man. I know you want to try to make the genre, well, add more adversity to the genre, but, bro, this ain't it. You killing it. Like, you're not killing it, but y'all's not cooking. Y'all about to kill the game before it even drops. This is literally going to be Anthem 2.0.